Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Celtic transfer talk, a uh, summer transfer talk uh, video on the channel today. Before we get it, guys, as web, you know, per usual, just to game like uh, if you're enjoying the videos, you should be able to and the views have been great, like that, just up. Uh, subscription be great as well. And if you haven't already, go follow Twitter, Limit Day 12, all my socials are all, all linked below um, in the description of every video. So, yeah, if I do, let's get into it. Celtic are willing from the title, and oh, you probably see notes from the thumbnail. Celtic are willing to meet Antwerp's 3 million valuation for Aurelio Ar Ar Buta. It's going to be hard to Buta. It's going to be hard to pronounce his name. Celtic are ready to meet Royal Antwerp's 3.5 million euros or three million pounds and you know, pounds valuation of right back uh, Oriolo Buta, according to popular Belgian outlet v Wood Woodball Twenty Four. The Daily Mail claimed last night that the hoops move for Portuguese let let fullback was taking shape. This comes after Priestley taking a look at, of course, uh, Sheffield United uh, right back George Baldock. Um, but I think we're, I'm glad, um, I don't know about the rest of Celtic fans, but I'm glad that we've moved on from George Boulder because, my Christ, he'd been worse than bloody some of the right-backs we've had over the years, to be honest, you know what I mean? Um, there have been reports over the weekend that Celtic had made an offer of 2.5 million euros, um, or 2. million pounds. Turkish journalist uh, Ekrem Konyur originally posted the news on to his Twitter um, the word on the weekend there. Um, this backed up by Vodeborn24, however, they have also claimed that Celtic are willing to go up to Antwerp's 3 million valuation if necessary. I like that about Celtic finally uh, getting a finger out and actually meeting the valuation. Was it? What, 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 I mean, I don't get it. The valuation is 3 million. First offer over the weekend is 2.5 million. I, I finally, you know, they get the finger out and they're ready to meet um, Antwerp's valuation of 3 million. Uh, so the fans will be hoping, of course, to include me myself, that uh, Elid uh, can lead to a swift solution given the, the problems the club currently have at right back. Not just right back, the whole bloody defence, but getting the right back in. I'd be happy with that so far. I'm not full happy, but at least if we have a right back in, sorry. We're getting we're getting started, you know, we're, the race is on, you know what I mean? But Celtic are not holding back and splashing out in key targets. Is Ariero Buta next? You can accuse the Celtic board of being so an ab, you know, we've done it all. Um, the summer that you can't deny the fact that we are we have our Premiership season kicking off on Saturday with a major squad gaps uh, falls slowly on the hierarchy and the new CEO John Mackay. Um, however, at the same time, nobody can accuse Celtic of not being willing to spend. Should the club pull off a three million move for Buta, it would um, add a few meaty deals of Celtic have sunk their teeth into the summer. Leo Bader cost the club three point five million. Carol Starfield, meanwhile, was reportedly bought for four million. As for Kyogo Furuhashi, Celtic were said to have sunk 4.6 million into that one. Uh, if user signs that support, a total of 15.1 million already on four players alone. Um, now, you see that for the Chris Christopher Iyer money, you know, that was 13.5 million. Um, maybe you got some money for Bio, and now you got you got some money the other day because Chev joined that team permanently. So yeah, maybe they were just waiting out. Hopefully, we can get Buta done because we need a right back. We need. I mean, another centre back, a left. In the whole defence, basically. So if you get Buta in, you know, you're covered there. You've got Starfelt into the back. You need a goalkeeper, definitely in. Another centre back in. Potentially a left back. I don't know if you need a left back, but that depth there, the left back is, you know, there as well. So as Boss Coglu couldn't say he hasn't isn't been back. The only frustration is how long it's taken the club to get these deals done. The likes of Starfelt and Furuhashi have missed their opening new uh, UFA Champions League qualifier. And he's Mitchelland. They likely won't be up to speed for the next round either. Um, that, that's the that's the hard thing as well. In any case, we move on and next on our to do list is most certainly strengthening the, of the right back position. But has the European experience necessary um, to make an impact here? In any case, um, you know, time to see if we're ready uh, to a deal or not. Hopefully, we can because. This right back here looking like a right back and could finally be on the way to Celtic with Belgian media uh, reporting a bear a Euro Ari Leo Buta is coursing to join the Celtic. Which I'm I'm thankfully we're getting another deal done in the, you know, I mean eventually, you know. 
Um, so he's, he's 24, and he'll be the first. He'll become the first Portuguese Celtic player since George Cadet in 1996 to 1997. Um, there. Um, but I watched some of the clips of what we're going to get if we might get from our new right back, Gary. Are you? Sorry guys about that, my camera kept cutting out, but as I was saying, he's quite an offensive fullback. Um, he's a good good centre, a huge volume of play, ideal for a defensive three centres, you know, um, centre half, sorry. Um, must improve the timing of his offensive runs, that's the only thing. Uh, very strong in duels, despite his small size, a sign to be excited about if we get it done. That's the main thing, if Celtic can get it done. Um, um, you know, Saturday, league opener, um, like a depth defence is a way to Oh, they don't even get a start for our body, Ross County, our defence. It's a joke. And we played 5 million for Barkas. We need a goalkeeper in as well. I don't know when we'll get him in. I've, we're not even linked to a goalkeeper. So, God knows. But thanks guys for watching. If you have enjoyed, please subscribe and like, share the video, and I'll see you guys in a video very shortly. But that's just me, on my opinion, of Celtic closely... Um, getting this deal done for a right back, finally a right back, getting nearly in the door. Are you, uh, are you, are you Leo Buta from Royal Antwerp, apparently Celtic 3 million move.